Hi guys! Today we are going to do some exercises using the analog type multi-tester. Of course, we have to set up our test probe. So we are going to put the common and the positive. Before using the multi-tester, we have to set it into the ohms reading and we are going to short this two blade okay so as you can see it is working now let us try so this time I have a battery so this is a battery with rating of 1.5 okay 1.5 volts but this is already used so let us see how many volts is the reading so since this is a battery there is polarity as you can see there is the negative and the positive therefore we have to input our test the details of our test probe into negative and into positive now since the reading is 1.5 we have to set our multi-tester into 1.5 now the battery is um, direct current therefore we are going to set our multi-tester into how many volts 2.5 so as I have mentioned on my previous video we have to set it into the setting higher than the uh, material that we are going to check so this is 1.5 so we are not going to use 0.5 but we are going to use 2.5 actually we can also use 10 volts since we already know that the battery is 2.5, we are going to set it into 2.5 volts. Okay, so look closely. Okay, so this is the negative and the positive. So let us see, let us check how much is the reading. Okay, now let us check the reading. So, this is, as I have mentioned earlier, so we, we consider this as 1, and this is 1.5. But the reading uh, fall into the center, so this is 1.25 plus 2 lines, 1.25, 1.3, 1.5. 35. So the reading of this battery is 1.35 volts. Now I have another example. I have here three batteries. Actually this is already worn out. If this is 1.3, let us check one of these batteries. Actually I already checked a while ago and since these are all worn out, the reading is around 1.3. So let us check again. This one. No, this one. Let's try this one. So this orange battery. Okay. So the voltage again is 1.5. But since this is already worn out, let us check the reading. Okay, so almost the same, one point, it is almost 1.25, 1 1.3, 1 1 1.35, 1.45, almost 1 1.45. Now, we have here, okay, a casing, and this contains three batteries one two and three if positive so this time the setting is 
into 10 volts. So this will be our reference. Okay, from 0 to 10. Let us check. Oops. Okay, so what is the reading? So the reading is 4.1. 4.1 volts. So as I have mentioned, some of this is 1.3, but maybe some of the battery would be 1.5. Let us see. This one is... Actually, we can, we can set this also into 10. But if that would be 1.5, so it will be more difficult for us to calculate. So, we, so it is better if we use 2.5. Okay, so if this is 2.5. Okay, so what is the reading? Okay, again, 1.5. So this is 1 1.25, 1.3, 1.35, 1.4, 1.4 plus this one is, let's check, oops, this one is, oops, okay, 1, so what is the reading? 1.4. 1.4 plus 1.4 is 2.8. Correct. Plus 1.8 plus this one is oops. 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 So this is oops. Okay. 1.8 25, oh, 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 it's moving, 1, sorry, okay, so 1.25335, so it is 4.15, so, so the total voltage is almost correct. So there is a little bit discrepancy, but that is uh, acceptable. Now, this is for the direct current. Now, how about if alternating current just like our outlet? So follow me. Let us try to check our outlet. Okay. Now, we have here an extension cord. So the voltage reading usually here is 220 volts. Since the setting is 20 we are going to set it into 250 okay 250 or 1000 of alternating current so a while ago we set it into direct current but right now we are going to set it into alternating current okay because we are going to check our extension cord we can also set it into 250 so if this is set into 1000 or rather we can set this also into 1000 now if we set it this into 1000 so since 1000 200 to 400 600 800 1000 so the reading will fall somewhere here so let us check so since this is direct current uh, alternating current rather so there is no polarity so it, we can place the common either here or here and our positive either here or here. But of course, we are not going to check on the same uh, line but on the different line. So let us check this one. Okay. Okay, I elevate our tester so you can see the reading clearly. Okay. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to put the common and the positive. Wait. The common and the positive. Okay, 
so this the reading is around 220 okay because 2 220 240 260 280 300 again let us try oops sorry Let's try 220. Now, what if we are going to set this into 250? Okay, the setting is 250. Again, let us check. So, if the reading a while ago is 220 volts, so if, since we set this into 250, 250. So 225, so it is around 1, so there should be 1 graduation after 225. So let us check. So either way, so we can put positive here and the common here. Okay, see? So it is 225. So the reading now is 225. So it could also be 225 since the graduation is bigger, smaller rather in here. That is why we get 220. But since we set this into 250, wherein we can get the reading more clear or more accurate. So the reading, the actual reading is 225 volts. Okay, again, let us try to set this into 1000. So the reading is, oops, okay, so 220. It could be 225, but as I have mentioned, since the graduation is very little, maybe we could not read the point, the five volts, but in here, we can read it more accurately. Since the setting is smaller, 250, is smaller than 1000 okay so i hope this exercise help you on how to read the multi-testing using actual battery the direct current and our outlet the alternating current so see you next time bye